Now that we have uh, Mozilla Thunderbird installed, it's time to add our email address uh, account to it. So we'll start out here by launching Thunderbird. We'll double click this. And the first time you run Thunderbird, it gives you an opportunity here to, you know, uh, go find an, a new email address. But we're going to say, hey, we're going to skip this. We're going to use my existing email. Okay. So the mail account set up, it tries to uh, do some of the stuff for you. So we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, for name, I'm just going to put in Humphreys County Tea Party. And then this is my YouTube account. So I'm just putting that in parentheses. Okay. My email address is HCTP for Humphreys County Tea Party Patriot at gmail.com and then I'll put in the password that I've set up for that. Okay. And then uh, we're going to tell it to continue. And we're also going to say remember the password because, well, why would you want to type it in every time? So we hit continue. And here we see that... Um, Mozilla uh, Thunderbird has went out there and probed it and has found all the information that it needs to actually do that. So that makes it very, very simple for us. Now we have the choice of two different types of, of service here. We can use IMAP, which means remote folders. And basically what you're seeing on your computer then is what's on your email server uh, there. Okay, POP3 uh, is a little bit different. Instead of uh, uh, manipulating the folders on the email server, you're actually pulling a copy uh, of the emails to your computer where you can, you know, save them, delete them, print them, whatever it is that you want to do. I, I find that I like IMAP because this way if I'm somewhere else and I want to check an email and I don't have my computer and I'm not using this client, I can still use the web interface like always. So we're just simply going to select done. And then at that point, um, we see up here that, there, well, there's our email address and there's the inbox. And then it will synchronize it, and I see that, that here I have one from uh, an email from Joe that says hello. Okay, so that was as simple as can be um, to do, uh, to, you know, to, to do a Gmail. Now let's talk for just a second about other accounts. Okay, because maybe you don't have a Gmail account, maybe you have a BellSouth.net account or something like that. Uh, to do those, uh, um, we can, you know, in the beginning you can. Um, you know, specify that, but you'll have to uh, put some other information in there. Okay, so if I were to say, hey, let's, uh, what do we got here? Uh, we want to add a mail account. Okay, you'll, that's so, and it, it'll try to do this again. Um, but anyway, if you have to change any settings, this is where you'd come up. Let me let me go back here and show this to you again. We're going to go to tools, account settings, and if something is messed up, uh, when we look at server settings. This is where uh, you can change this stuff, uh, profile, and, and that sort of stuff. But anyway, you should be good. And I tell you what, it would probably be easier for me to answer your uh, individual questions um, either at the next meeting or, or uh, through email or something. So if, if this doesn't work for you, give me a call. I want to try to keep these videos uh, short and to the point. Um, so that's, that's this part. So we now have um, uh, an email here, and, if, and, and it works just like... It works just like uh, the web, the web client that you're using, sort of. But you know, if we want to send an email, we're just simply going to sit, write who we're going to send it to. I'll send it to Xavier at gtech.com. And uh, hello, Joe. You know, compose my email, and, uh, and then you just hit send. It's simple as that, and it shows you that it's delivered and it's sending it, and, and you're good to go. So uh, that concludes this part. Uh, the next part we'll talk about how to get the uh, SSL certificate uh, for your email account. So until then, um, I'll talk to you later. Thanks again.